Hi everyone! Hello! Welcome on the live developer stream. I'm Paula. This is Joanna. Hello! And today we want to show you something special. A footage which will get you more familiar to the Warmongers gameplay. Um, earlier we have been showing you sneak peeks from two maps. Uh, and now you will be able to see the action on both of them. We will tell you this and that about the background and the mechanics, but to be in touch with us and gain more knowledge about the War Mongols, follow our social media because we are posting their arts and trivia about this game and also historical facts and documentaries. As you can see on our new beautiful key art, I hope you like it. There are seven playable characters. They are all of different nationalities, backgrounds and motivations. But for now, we will only talk about the two of them, Manfred and Evald. Why so? Because we are showing you today two maps, two first missions. The action begins on June 23, 1944, during the Battle of Orsha when, surprised by the Soviet attack, barely surviving the artillery fire, Manfred and Ewald decide to take the opportunity to escape from the army. What will happen next? Well, let's proceed to the video. We hope that you enjoy the video. <laughs> Hello, sir. Hi, Mr. Hello, everyone. Hi, Blazik. Hello. We're starting the first chapter of the game right Manfred now. Manfred Rauper, I'd like to hear the story about you and your companions in detail. We have plenty of time. As you may expect, I'm not particularly happy to share all this. I've tried to forget everything for the last 10 years. Yet I swear on my honor, I'll be truthful. I wish to release this story. Please, proceed then. <clears throat> it's very useful to focus on the cutscenes and June on 4th. the intros because they are telling the you a lot about the story. And this game is story rich. It's already taken a lot of territory from us. The graphics is amazing. At the time, we were also losing our war on the Eastern Front. Ivan was hitting us hard. We already knew our fight was hopeless, but the Fuhrer stubbornly tried to save his face at our expense. There is a big emphasis on, on environmental storytelling. Years three long, you can see in the game the occupation, how it was. was different at that point. You can see how the Do you know what it's like to live day to day with a constant looked. feeling that you are already dead to this world? As an isometric real-time tactical game set in Eastern Europe at the end of World War II. Hello, Watson. Yes, the art is great. I couldn't comprehend how they applied the principles and dignity of German soldiers. Glad you like it. Us. You can see the memories of the soldiers here and the graphics show the horrors that they went through. It's very symbolic and carries so much emotion because uh, Eastern Front was a very special phenomenon, actually, of the Second World War. We must remember it was a campaign which started very bravely from the perspective of the Germans and then uh, it turned to be hell for soldiers, for Slavic peasants, for I ended prisoners up in of war. Italian, a penal company. And this is how it all started. Yes, and uh, our heroes are in a penal battalion because they committed a crime. Yes, and we are now focusing on a truck carrying our mongrels, Manfred and Evald, and other German soldiers from the penal battalion. The battalion is sent there uh, to the vicinity of the front to mine the area that the Russian troops could be moving over. 
But, you know, battalions were given, uh, let's say, special tasks to, to go through. Uh, they had really nasty staff, uh, staff to, to take care of. Uh, and, of course, the mortality among soldiers was uh, high uh, in general. As you could see, suddenly the artillery fire begins and chaos is raging. Yes, exactly. Russian, Russians begin their attack. Yes. So everyone is killed in there, except the two battalion soldiers. And now you can see what we can do in here. Moving! mouse and keyboard right now, but there will be full controller support. Patrols could get us jailed. Oh, you can oh, hear us. Right. Uh, we need to get we'll rid of our uniforms. Try to adjust the uh, microphone. Uh, We've got to find some peasant clothes. To be a little bit louder, maybe, uh, than the movie. We'll try to fix that. Um, Ivan likes to drink, huh? I have an idea how to draw Ivan's attention. Okay, oh. you can now see that we can pick objects with our characters. Both of them can uh, use something reach. if they found something useful. Uh, yes. So, for example, we can learn. Evel tries to use bottles. Uh, yes, to lure the enemy. Uh, because uh, the Russian soldiers, uh, it is assumed they like to drink. So, if we throw a bottle of moonshine, they will be attracted to it. And they will come, but yes, uh, we so need to monitor. Some battle to your enemy. Exactly. <laughs> uh, but paying attention and respect to their point of view, uh, the, the field yes, of view, actually. The field of view. It's not just the point; it's the entire field. About, about the mechanics in the game, you can see that uh, there was that removing corpses tip. It's very useful to remove corpses, not because you can fight with them, but uh, you can pick up dead bodies and just move them from the field of view, so you won't be so suspicious. Exactly, because uh, leaving uh, corpses will draw the uh, attention of the enemy, yes. So it all takes place uh, in real time, uh, and you have to remember about strategy and tactics all the yes. time. Uh, here we are just warming up and you will see different techniques that both characters can use uh, in order uh, to succeed. Uh, yes, as you could see uh, by clicking on the enemy you can see if, uh, the field of view of the enemy. You can notice that the enemy's field of view is split in two areas. The full one is the area where the enemy will surely see you no matter what you will do. Uh, while these dashed area is where you can crawl. You can crawl there unnoticed. Exactly. And uh, it, it's important to analyze the enemy's behavior, uh, yes. where they move, and... Uh, oh, now we've got this, this brawl technique. So, Evald uh, can use battles, pair battles, of the moonshine, uh, to take down two opponents at once. So if you select the brawl skill and hover the mouse uh, near two enemies in front of Evald, you can use it. Uh, you can also adjust the camera 
and yes. rotate it as much as you want uh, to see the enemies better. And to be, oh, here you can see the, the brilliant skill. He used a broken bubble uh, to actually take down two enemies at once. And we oh, have to and be unnoticed again. And we've got this making noises uh, thing. So some skills are noisier than the others. So you need to pay attention to the respective noise indicators. So uh, the thing that you can see around the, your target, this is uh, showing you as a wide dashed circle. So when you are hovering with the mouse over the enemy, you will see the circle and you will know uh, how noisy the weapon will be. And here we have another technique. Manfred can actually throw his uh, watch. Uh, yes. And the melody will attract the enemy's attention because uh, it is a fact that Soviet soldiers were especially attracted to nice jewelry and watches. So they will come, they will try to touch it, they will try to take it. And you can use it to your advantage. Yes, because if enemy picks it up, you can kill it silently. Him. Exactly. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> And of course, uh, the watch is reusable, so you can pick it up and uh, yeah. use it multiple times. Yes, but be careful, remember not to use things that can attract the attention of much more enemies than, than only one or two, because you won't handle that at once. Exactly. You need to plan your moves, you need to think about the tactics, you need to use your items with logic. And uh, here you could see the cutscene where uh, more German prisoners of war were shot by the Soviets. Uh, and this brings uh, brings us to another position, yes, because new now guards have appeared. Of alcohol. Uh, and wait. we have to plan how to take it. them down. Uh, please notice that the watch has an area uh, where it will work. Oh, so when you yes. throw a watch, there is an area uh, where you are able to succeed. If you throw the watch mindlessly, if you don't pay attention to the selected area, uh, this technique won't work. Yes, because remember, as I was saying about these noises, some skills are noisier than others. Yeah. And some for your advantage, and some not. <laughs> And killing with bare hands is uh, much more quiet uh, than murdering with a knife. Yeah. Oh, about the whistle. We've got the whistle right now. So it's another thing that uh, is useful but noisy. So um, Manfred can distract enemies by whistling. So when yeah. they hear a whistle, they will go to check the source of the noise so you can attack them. Right. You can Ooh. go somewhere to whistle, or you can oh, stay sure. where you are, uh, but you have to pay attention to the area, again, like in the case of watch. Just uh, yep. this area has a bigger radius. Uh, As you can see, guys are hiding crowd around the corner, they are using different skills, so whistling, killing. And you don't need to keep them together all the time. Actually, yes. on the contrary, it's uh, to your advantage if you split them sometimes, because the differences in their skills are very important. You can see it now, this is planning mode. You can first plan the actions simultaneously of two characters, and then execute them. Do you regret this? Regret what? Herr Raufer. Do you regret disobeying orders? Uh, Would yes, you really uh, know? this is an example of additional enough. dialogues between our uh, war mongrels. And uh, our again. war mongrels have a very rich background story, so definitely dive into the world of their conversations. Don't skip them, because they are very interesting. They have very interesting personalities. Manfred, where are those? Yes. I'll turn my back. Almost forgot what it's will like they know be if uniform. normal soldier will miss from his position? Uh, that's too. an interesting question. We'll so, Ivan's yes, guns. if you want to be and very careful, handy. they will notice that and they will alert the rest. But if you are careful, if you take them down weapons? silently, if you will be really stealthy, it's all good. So hide exactly. corpses, be quiet, be stealthy. 
Actually, being stealthy is always a good option in War Among Us, but you will see that going a bit crazy, it's an option too. We will show you examples. Sure. So now we have quite a large group of uh, guards to take care of, and uh, yeah. you're supposed to use the techniques that you have learned already. Yeah. Especially all the time, enemies field of view and making noises. You need to focus on, on these two things, no matter which skills you are using. Just always check the enemies field of view, always check the, the noise. And you'll be good. So even uh, playing slower, but analyzing is uh, very important. But uh, we don't mean that there is just one way of solving a level. So it's not Absolutely like uh, not. you don't have to memorize this video. You can do it yes. your way. You can do it in many ways, actually. And uh, we will have single player in Hill, but also the cooperation version. Exactly. So, and here you could see the example when uh, characters were uh, separated and uh, we use the combination of their, of their skills in order to uh, succeed um, now uh, now you can see how the um, field of view diverges so uh, it depends where the enemy is standing yes um, and remember that these stripes mean that you can crawl there and they won't see you. It's important. Yes. And we've got this great useful stuff like planning mode. We are now in the planning mode. So in this mode you can uh, like set one action per another per, per guy. So we've got Manfred, we've got Evolt and we can set the actions on them and execute it at the same time. So you need to activate the planning mode, select each uh, guy, uh, select the skill, double click on the enemy and the hero will run and commit the action. Just press enter and it's done. So it's very useful. Uh, maybe I will say a few words about the characters uh, now that we are dealing with their skills. You see them uh, crawl. Um, Manfred is German and at first he is a very eager supporter of the Nazi propaganda. Uh, but of course, uh, as you can see, he has started to change his mind already. Uh, and Evald is uh, not German. He is a Silesian person, so uh, he represents a minority. And uh, yeah. this game shows a lot of details of history that uh, you don't know from school. Exactly. And actually, our Manfred is inspired by Manfred Zanker, who deserted from the Wehrmacht to serve in the AK. Yes. Uh, the real Manfred was a pacifist, but our Manfred, on the other hand, is an ardent fanatic of German propaganda. <laughs> but it will change, it will change. Manfred tries to avoid uh, the fact that, that he is a part of, of it when he figure out all the bad stuff. Yes, because right now they uh, still aren't aware uh, of, uh, mm -hmm. of the actions uh, taken by Einsatzgruppen. Uh, so the German groups acting behind the front line and uh, committing crimes of civilians. Um, and basically uh, they are exhausted by being on the Eastern Front. It wasn't easy for anyone. So uh, right now uh, our heroes have uh, escaped uh, on a stolen motorcycle uh, and we yes. will be proceeding to the second level uh, uh, how do how do you how do you like it so far what do you think about about this game because uh, we also see that the guys cut the fences uh, they grab the motorcycle they, they run away and we've got this combat mode where the characters get crazy so, as I said, it's not only the rich story, not only the adventure, not only the stealth, but also the combat mode, uh, which is like in uh, shooters. Yeah, so everyone finds something to enjoy, right? 
Um, okay, so I guess that uh, we may proceed with the second level. What do you think, okay. Paula? Okay. Okay. Uh, there we go. Uh, and uh, you will see that this one is different. Much, much different. Okay. So we've got uh, like 12 missions? Or 20? 20 missions. Uh, yes. 20 missions. <laughs> and uh, 60, 90 minutes each. The and you will see that point. they is only differ after the adrenaline rush like a lot. We realized what we had got ourselves into. Yes. As deserters, we had no future and no home to return to. Deserting from the vermin was uh, punished with death. So. If at all, we were dead You can recognize walking. the voices actually because Manfred uh, is voice acting by John Schwab and Evald is by Dark Kaku. You can know them both from The Witcher the or The ideas. Horizon Zero Dawn. Was a lie. So they are they are using their voices with our when I joined Manfred the Wehrmacht, and Evald. So I wow. myself becoming a hero. <laughs> I was to be nothing but a murderer of the innocent. Here they start to see uh, who they really were uh, when they were marionettes didn't care of much the Nazi we were regime. Going. For now, he just wanted to get as far away from the Eastern Front as possible. Yes, this is this so is the, the great moment in this mission because they are seeing before their own eyes the atrocities but for in the me, Wehrmacht. Exactly. Was not enough. That they had not witnessed uh, I knew when I needed to find they were a reason to keep going. In there. Basically, they they drove as far as they could. They are left with uh, no fuel right now, uh, and we are starting the second mission in the area of. Bikes. Yes, they gas so it like should be mentioned panther. that the events happened uh, in Ponare are it based on in facts. In yes, okay. uh, everything we that happens that here. in the game it's, it's actually took place. We're not even trying to talk to them. Yes, here they uh, they mentioned the there? Einsatzgruppen. Uh, they were inside. basically yeah, special like squads, squadrons, created to act behind the front line and uh, murder civilians. Basically, um, like at the time they already. were supported by yeah, collaborators or like even by uh, uh, some civilians, unfortunately. Uh, and here in this mission, you already start knowing all the skills that have you have learned so far. So it's uh, crawling, making use of the enemy's uh, field of view, throwing the bottle, He's dead. using the watch. Exactly. And, and and uh, all of that and also you can see behind me actually that there is the map you can see on this map everything that is happening on the on the in the game actually you can see the enemies you can see your uh, point where you should go um, unfortunately this journey from the first mission on, on this stolen motorcycle comes to an end because uh, the fuel runs out exactly. so they stop in Ponare to get fuel I'm and food, so we man. need to go through the map the and search for the fuel and food and uh, execute other me. actions. Uh, you can actually highlight the active elements of, uh, of the environment, so it helps you, for example, see in which bushes you can hide and um, plan your actions more carefully. Uh, by the way, we have just used planning mode uh, again. Or it's popped up for a moment. Okay, so the characters acted simultaneously. Uh, the watch is playing, and uh, we are collecting bottles. So, uh, like Paula said, uh, in this level there are a few goals, but He's the dead. main one is to okay. get some fuel and food. Good night. Yes, but here we also need to uh, change clothes, just uh, the same as at the first mission. So. We didn't say about it, but we were changing clothes. Yeah, from uh, the uniform to peasant clothes. Uh -huh. Yes, and uh, now we should do the same. 
this time uh, you can see the let's say change of environment because uh, in the previous mission we were in an area already controlled by the Soviets it was uh, Orsha and uh, now we are in uh, Ponare near Vilnius uh, the today's uh, capital city of Lithuania and you could see the Nazi flags uh, mm -hmm. flying because this area is controlled by the Germans but uh, our protagonists, let's say, our war mongrels, they are uh, not welcome by anybody. They are uh, deserters from the Wehrmacht and they are uh, the enemies of the Soviets because they are former Wehrmacht soldiers. Start is writing that if someone like Commandos, uh, Shadow Tactics, Desperados will like war mongrels. Well, yes, yes because uh, the inspiration came from Commandos a lot, especially first, second, and, and third one. Them to kill. Okay, eat up. <laughs> Fine, we have a whole variety of attractions, actually, and I think that uh, people who enjoy different kinds of games are going to focus around uh, War Mongrels. Um, yes, because yeah. we've got adventure here, stealth game elements, tactical elements, strategy. Exactly. A lot. A uh, lot of different things. And uh, in a sense, we also have the development of the um, characters, because uh, you uh, travel with them physically uh, as they go through diff different locations, but you also um, see how they change and how their point of view changes. Uh, exactly. And now yeah. we, we can see the point of view of our enemy. And you can see how we are using crawling right now to be uh, closer to, to the point we want to, to get something from. And look at this, look at this. They are attacking right now. Hiding it's all good. It's all good. We took the corpses, we put them the in the bushes, no and we are now stealing things. So we are using the environment to our advantage. Uh, the interaction yes. with the environment is very important. And as you can see, there is a guard walking around. So we need to think about how to take him off. Exactly. We need, we need to think uh, all the time about this, actually. Yes, planning, strategy, tactics. Uh, these are the keywords to success. And you can come up with your own ideas, and uh, it may turn out that uh, you will do it very differently from the video uh, that we're presenting. Uh, and perhaps uh, your friends are going to go through the game completely different, uh, differently than you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, uh, about the questions, uh, there will be collectibles in the game. Uh, there are uh, so many details that you will miss if you only play a level once. Uh, so, of course, we will reveal more details soon. Uh, yes. But yes, definitely, there will be reasons to come back to particular levels. Uh, yes, uh, no, not only not only this, because it will be different uh, in single player and in cooperation Evil. mode. Yes, yeah. that's the key it. reason. And uh, right. there, there will be uh, unique challenges that change, change the approach stuff. you take as you progress through the levels. There? there are many You're secrets German. to discover, such as historical inside. documents and letters, oh, just yeah. like Joanna yeah, said, collectibles. So yeah, uh, 12 or 20 missions, yeah. There will be 12 missions. 12 missions, yes. 12 missions, uh... What's all that shooting? About an hour and, uh... Hour, yes. 60, 90 minutes each, yes. Three years? Yeah, since 41, the Germans have been bringing people to uh, these woods to kill them. What you can see the, in the cutscene the right, right the now, it. Uh, it really took place. But the massacre years? of the civilians the in Kanare actually trains? took place. Tens and of thousands uh, uh, we this. don't really I talk about it, but this is what it looked like. This is how Einsatzgruppen worked. Uh, they yeah, basically... But, but 
took the yeah, Jewish population of a given area, they crowded them in one place and shot, the and the, 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 and the bodies would be put in out. layers. Uh, and there are witnesses uh, who actually saw that and uh, okay. reported what What's happened. Anyway? So this Lucas. is confirmed Lucas. that they acted right. like this. I'll help you out. And uh, we have you can still hear uh, characters changed. talking Freeing about the events that are happening right yeah. now. Yeah. We need to open what? the barn. We were supposed to find food and gas and yeah, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, we heard that there SS was someone trapped in the barn, but we can't get inside. So, so uh, to figure out how to get inside. So again, we need to be very stealthy. We need to focus on on our enemies to take them down. We need to use vision marker, planning mode, battles, crawling, Manfred's pocket watch, and everything we, we learned so far. Uh, yes, Blagic, you're right. Polish civilians too, not not only the Jewish population, of course. Okay, so so we we throw the the, the bottle of moonshine again. And now we are using planning. So as you can see, we are combining everything we learned so far. And taking down the enemies with uh, more precision and with uh, more tools. Because we will gain more and more. As you can see, we already What's gained like? uh, the new armor. Now we must uh, crawl to, or actually find out a way to reach another area. Crawling yes. seems to be the most obvious choice, of course. Uh, Look and at the details of the building and of, on the environment. Yeah, like the the details. Uh, also, where we are hiding now, uh, among the bodies, uh, it's very accurate and shows the reality of war as it was. Uh, without blurring the image or softening it, definitely. Good night. Now our purpose... Oh, we are using yes. whistling again uh, to yes. draw attention. We need to, attention. To, to get the uniform. As I said before, we, we need to, to get close because we need to get in disguise. Yeah, uh, one of our characters has to use the Schutzstaffeln uniform, so the SS Good night. uniform. Uh, but, uh, of course, uh, the, the sure. stealth must still uh, be kept in mind, because it, uh, it's obvious that the Germans will recognize him if you approach too bravely. Uh, however, we need that disguise to fool them. Mm -hmm. And uh, we must eliminate the remaining uh, enemies without being noticed and without alerting other enemies also. Yep. In the background you can see, you can hear actually the noises of the slaughter which is going on. And uh, actually uh, Evald and Manfred, they are thinking of whether it can be stopped somehow if uh, people can be saved mm -hmm. so the the name of uh, the names of missions in general uh, they do refer to actual thoughts and changes in the character's uh, way of thinking let's say Hello. they start as the deserters from the wehrmacht and uh, they become okay, well, war mongrels. Well, what, what else can I say? You have to experience it yourself, what it's like to be a war mongrel. Now we are dressing up in the Schutzstaffeln uniform. Uh, yes, and this is, uh, this is very, very important that you can disguise uh, yourself in uh, the uniform so that the soldiers will not pay attention to you, but... You need to watch out for the dogs and officers Fine, because go. they can be fooled so easily. So, get into the door. Yeah. Why in disguise? Just try not to do anything suspicion, suspicious when you are in play site, such as killing enemies, of course. Uh, don't run or crawl where others can see you because this might get them attention, even even when you are in disguise. So you need to think like you will think in the real life. And we are, uh, we have 
executed an action right yeah. now by throwing the watch, but the later actions have been planned in the planning mode. So you can freely combine all the elements of the gameplay uh, to your taste, as you wish. Uh, you can play more stealthy, you can play more aggressively. Uh, it's your choice. Uh, you have to think about your own strategy, in fact. Um, all right. And basically, uh, again, we are using the, the mechanism. It's like combining simple mechanisms into efficient solutions, we can say. So... Uh, the combination of the fact that one of our uh, war mongrels is in disguise and the other is uh, being stealthy uh, will surely bring positive results. Unfortunately, there are many guards to take care of, uh, which is wonderful because it requires more thinking from us. Uh, yes, and we need to pay attention to the surroundings because the fact that you are seeing how we are solving these puzzles uh, on the gameplay, well, actually you may find an alternative way to, to rid yourself from the enemies, so yeah, you can play many times the uh, same missions and you will find different solutions to how to uh, get through the map. And uh, about uh, quick saving, uh, the, the game saves uh, automatically at some point, so if you die, uh, you resume at uh, some uh, fixed point. I'm going there. It's very intuitive, it. in fact. And if you don't like the way that you have gone through a level, uh, you can always uh, restart it and go through the level from the very beginning. So if you're dissatisfied with uh, your progress, you can always reset the level. And otherwise, it, uh, it saves automatically at some points plus of course you can decide uh, when One you down. will save uh, we're almost there uh, if we murder yes. this guard we will get the key to the barn uh, because uh, for sure you remember that someone has been trapped mm -hmm. in the barn and we need to find out who and uh, of course above all we need to get food and fuel Okay, but we must get back to the barn safely. Uh, so, uh, now that we have the key, we must not forget about applying the tactics uh, and strategy all the time. There are Hello. more guards. Hello, one night. Oh, sharks again. Oh, we, will definitely, we will definitely have sharks in here, yes. Of course. We can call the Germans uh, sharks in here right now. Uh, actually, individual levels are meant to flow seamlessly into the next level, like blending one into another, like uh, make the continuous, uh, very immersive story rather than a collection of missions. So that's why these cutscenes and, and intros are so important. So one down. just don't skip them. <laughs> exactly. And watch out for extra dialogues that the characters uh, are uh, speaking between each other they do so from time to time uh, when you learn about the characters you also understand why their skills and their approach in general is what it is and uh, it's very important to follow the story of our characters they change they develop but uh, also it's a good idea to memorize who knows which skill uh, and the let's say properties of all the skills uh, for example like paula said before during the first level some are more quiet and some are more noisy yes and this is a perfect example of using the elements of the environment to your advantage you could take them down somehow uh, but it was easier to put them under a truck basically <laughs> Well, this is uh, survival, yes, it's either us or them. Uh, Lajic says that cutscenes are better than school lessons. Uh, yes, because this is history that really happened and influenced lives of many families. And uh, it's not a part of the curriculum at school. Hey, Lucas, so. still in there? I got the key. Of course I'm still here. Oh. Come on, hurry up. People are dying. 
So Lucas uh, also wants to uh, stop the massacre. Wait, wait, you're not type. Where are all the supplies? This I is lie. our new <laughs> guy. You and you want to help yeah. me? Oh no. Meet My job here Lucas. is to blow up that bridge. Lucas to hold is their operation Paul until the and Lithuania oh, by origin. So as we said, the the mongrels mm, are of different rooms, nationalities, backgrounds and motivations. So you, you are meeting them one by one. On the way? And uh, during they were nice enough to leave my Lucas is actually another very imp minutes, important but also gone. interesting character because he is another representative of a uh, minority that we, we don't speak about uh, anymore, ah, not too much. You're a big boy, aren't and, you? Uh, nice to meet here you. is where nice I wanted time. to refer what uh, I think Lajic wrote. Uh, some time ago that uh, yes the casualties uh, they were not only Jewish people You're from the population but also I wasn't um, until the plan got representatives of minorities ah. and well, Poles simply, and Lithuanians I surrendered and the others retreated and uh, well, who are you? in this some game everything is shown it's, uh, it doesn't really cover hey, any group deceiver. of people You're from around here it was what was it was and, and we have to show it right until the Gestapo started sniffing uh, Miłosz was Why asking the about the DLC. <laughs> well, it depends on many factors at the moment. Well, we don't know, but it is possible that some of the characters will live to see the continuation of the story one day. Because, you know, this is a whole story right now. So we, we, we need to check how it will move along and we will see. So okay. stay tuned, but for now we are waiting for the release of, of the game first. Exactly. <laughs> but thank you for asking, that's nice. As you could see at the very beginning uh, of the first level, Kaurgis, uh, it's it was actually Manfred who was being interrogated and uh, these uh, events are reconstructed based on his memories of those mm -hmm. horrible times mm -hmm. many years after. Uh, right. Uh, in the meantime, okay, so we we are now combining uh, the uh, techniques and skills of three of our characters, and remember that we will have seven of them. Each one of them different, with different skills, different background story. Different story, yes. And they are very unique. Each uh, one yes. is is like it's not a place replaceable. So you want to meet them all. You know, you want She's to know dead. the whole story. Exactly. As Paula said, the levels are not individual, mm, smaller stories, but it's a great story and the levels are connected. There is a continuity uh, of uh, events. Yes, and our historical consultant, uh, Michal, also helped us a lot. Yes. So thanks to that, we, we could focus more on the story and, and the gameplay. And this is what we want to share with you. So uh, watch out for collectibles while playing the levels. Uh, pay attention to details. Uh, yes. Listen to dialogues. You may, pay, you may come across various historical finds, which will bring you closer to the time period of the... Well, the deadliest conflict in, in human history right now. Exactly. Like, if you think about the uh, number of casualties over time, a very short period of time, uh, less than six years, it's oh, drastic. You can, you, you can see now the, the weapons that they are using. Weapons. You, you can use uh, stationary weapons, too. Uh, you can enter the combat mode also to start shooting enemies. And so if, if, you, if you find something new, you can, you can use it. There is a lot of things to use on the maps and each map is bringing something new. And also, uh, as we said before, all characters have unique skills and uh, they, their overall vibe is different. Uh, and each, each, each guy from, from the band prefers a, a different type of weapon. Uh, you can order the men to pick the gun they like and such. Exactly. Um, Lightning uh, mentions a uh, company of heroes. Uh, 
agree, uh, definitely. And uh, Milos is uh, mentioning the pre-order. Uh, we will reveal more information really soon, so follow us on social media to uh, be informed. Yes, and you to can keep in find touch. our social media in the Twitch chat because we are posting them there. Uh, also, you can add Warmongers to wishlist uh, because we are posting the link to, to the game on our uh, Facebook and on our Twitch channel too. So if you are interested, just click wishlist. We are posting uh, many information to on Steam and on other social medias like trivia, arts and, and things like that. <laughs> so follow us. Here's what we do next. We want First, to share we to uh, as much of the overall environment of the game as possible with Second, you. Manfred, you have the uh, SS because uh, Go it's, down and clear it's the uh, like Paula said, very, very rich in and historical fella, facts. I'll need your help with planting the yeah. bomb. You're coming with me. Uh, you can see now that the, the, the like guys you. can change Able, their stances. Sure. Like I'll when you are crying, you are moving slower. Good but idea. enemies uh, cannot see you from a distance and you can hide in the bushes and when you are running you are running you are quicker and when you are uh, walking you can be seen if you are uh, going so, through the uh, field of view so notice that just said no to being in the watch on the, the details right just like a week ago How yeah can it's, you kill it's your getting hotter right, right now a lot enemies a lot again planning mode we are thinking about uh, different strategies and uh, the background sounds they don't make it any easier because we can hear the crying civilians also women and children uh, because yeah, people, people struggling yeah. uh, hello hello martin that's true um so yeah, as we said, the the events in Ponare happened. Actually, they happened. Yes, the the gameplay is based on the on the facts. The the Germans used unfinished underground uh, Soviet warehouses as places for mass executions. So you can see this here. You can play the game and and feel this history. And uh, now we are going to. We can say ambush these two soldiers. You could see an orange yep. rectangle. Uh, if we drop this plate, it will basically eliminate them. And we must eliminate them um, because we need the explosives. So every action is a consequence of the previous one, yes? What? Exactly. You should join the home well, you are right, Martin, oh, no, because no, no, no. We uh, commandos uh, no, were the inspiration. Plans. We're one of the inspiration oh, one of yes. yes. the the interiors and the sewers the Germans, just like the Jews. Uh, they I were anno annoying so oh, we changed the uh, the oh, perspective come on and join us. ever heard the word redemption oh you got to be fucking kidding the oh, no. characters were separated now uh, it was a good idea yes, to get the boys to back together but it's very important to remember that it's very unnecessary for them to stay in a group. I'm what is necessary is uh, to make use of the, the differences in their uh, skills and abilities. So you can separate them, uh, you can position them uh, according to your strategy, and definitely uh, Acting in a group is sometimes it's even the worst possible solution. Mm -hmm. And uh, like we mentioned at the beginning, the bushes can hide you, but you can also use them in order to hide the corpses uh, to avoid uh, basically catching the attention of the guards. Uh, and we're using the whistling mechanism one more time. Uh, you have to be careful because uh, in this circle, uh, everyone who is standing in the circle of whistling will hear the whistle. So you have to make sure that exactly those guards that you want are going to uh, come to you. And uh, 
basically well, we have one knife is asking about the rum we oh, don't have rum but but we do have alcohol in the game although hitler was opposed to alcohol and it was rather frowned upon in the third right that occupying forces definitely abuses so we've, we've got it even on this map you can find it on this map and right now we are coming back to planning mode because we have two guys to get rid of and uh, we can't really take them down one by one because uh, they will shout and like the surviving one could shout and uh, alert others so uh, you, yeah. you want this game okay uh, hey is he's writing that he wants this game so i highly recommend to add it to your wish list and, and wait days. because we are releasing it soon in september yeah the pc release is uh, due in september exactly so uh, okay we are now using uh, the planning mode again and the battle of moonshine again about the alcohol so yeah we've got the battle of moonshine yes and removing the corpses again uh especially from the field of view of the enemies because they will get um attracted to yeah. see what happened so remember to be stealthy all the time because yes it's going to be stealthy it has real time tactics uh, and uh, Blazik says that he likes the second mission more. It's also because the first mission mission is a tutorial. It offers you, uh, it teaches you how to play the game. You need to uh, learn basically the mechanics. And uh, we're aware that uh, the there will be controversy, but uh, we are showing actual events. Whatever is shown in the game really happened, really took place. Watch my flank. So thank you very much for all the kind words that you have mentioned. Uh, there was a question about some uh, demo. Mm, stay tuned, basically follow us on social media and we will release uh, more information very soon. Going there. So stay tuned okay. for news. Okay, let's focus on the action again, because uh, as I mentioned, we've got this uh, field of view and uh, there is this uh, two areas, one with this dashed area, so as you can see, we can crawl through, the, through them. When yes. there is this dashed area, you can crawl, they won't see you if you crawl, but if you go on this uh, full one, you'll be surely seen, no matter what. So. Focus on that. Focus on the details. Think about what you will do in the real life. Exactly. Thank you, Camille. So now we have to take down the guy with the gun. Uh, and uh, fortunately, he is in the dashed area of uh, the other guy's field of view. But behind him there is another one. So for every situation, there are multiple solutions. And uh, you're supposed to find yours and perform all the actions necessary. You have a wide variety of techniques how to succeed. Uh, and it's all about planning. Planning, strategy, tactics. Thank you, Martin, no, for kind no. words. Sometimes you can go in the combat mode. Combat yeah. mode is inspired by isometric shooters. And you know, sometimes you just want to empty the magazine in the enemy. So yeah, it's, it's not always the stealth, not only the stealth, not only the tactics, but also going crazy from time to time. You need to, to take risks. You need to think about how you will act, what you will do in such situation and try, try. Play this game your own way. Exactly. So and there are a lot of ways that you that you can plan your strategies or going crazy. Yeah, this is just a proposal, and uh, of course the entire fun behind playing the game is uh, developing your own solutions, your own observations. Yeah. 
you're free to do that. Thank you, Basically. Martin. <laughs> so the purpose why we are performing all these actions is because uh, we want to blow up this bridge that you have seen in one of the cutscenes. Um, our war mongols believe that it uh, it will stop or prevent the further blood spill uh, of the civilians um, because uh, in this in this mission basically we see uh, we witness the uh, genocide in Ponare near Vilnius. Uh, Guy of Whiskey says that uh, Russians didn't like the truth of Company of Heroes 2 and it uh, restricted uh, it in their country uh, and that he hopes that we will not edit uh, the game for anyone uh, and release it objectively. Yes, this is exactly our purpose. Yes, this is our point. And yes. we've got the historical consultant, so yeah, th there won't be anything like that. Actually, we are presenting facts, so uh, some people may not uh, like what happened, but uh, we can't deny it I'm really took there. place. Uh, Vlajic says, it will not be a game for everyone. You have to think. Well, you definitely have to think. Sometimes you are allowed to go crazy, you are free yes. to go crazy. Yes, sometimes you can uh, lay the traps, Sometimes you can go in combat mode, sometimes you need to think, yeah. <laughs> For example, here in this situation, yes, we are making use of the environment. Um, and we will try the, we'll try to eliminate uh, the guards one by one after tossing the bubble. Yes. As you can see, you have to kidnap the corpse immediately and hide it in the bushes because there are many guards in here and if you don't do it leaving the corpse uh, it is a bad choice because you will draw their attention and they will uh, they will alert others this is not the point at all um, the watch has a broader range of action than the bubble so it's actually your choice uh, how you plan to fill in each step of the mission. Uh, this mission or any other uh, missions in the game. And here you don't have to worry at all about those two guards because uh, this pile of wood took care of them. Uh, so the interaction with the environment, uh, of course in real time, is very very important. Uh, don't forget that items are reusable um, and uh, don't forget to pick up whatever is possible because you never know what will come in handy. Um, will there be Australian and New Zealand soldiers? Uh, not this time, not this time. <laughs> Not this time. We are focusing on the Eastern Front. I love these babies. Okay, so now uh, our task is to put the explosives close uh, close to the bridge, because yes, you you can, you can see the tasks above the map, and uh, I uh, map is behind me. Exactly. Mm. Okay. And you can switch. Uh, actually, you can switch. Uh, between uh, uh, using keyboard and mouse, so you can uh, use a keyboard to, to choose uh, your characters, to choose your weapons, so you can do all with the mouse. Yeah, the controls are uh, gamer friendly, so the way you like it, you can just use it. Yeah? Yes. Um, Guy of Whiskey, the only thing that is disturbing for you is the question well, when you will be able to play. So the PC release date is uh, September this year. Yes. The PC. Evold, stand here. I'll climb on you to plant it higher. Can't you use your damn hook? I have to be quick. I don't really trust my homemade timer, to be honest. 
Um, all right, so now we are about to actually blow the bridge. Why would you um, place it so damn high? Okay, Lucas sure, is planting the bomb. You sound like some kind of special. This will be amazing. <laughs> well, so we can be British. quiet for Death? a moment. Yes. Shit, maybe I'll start to respect you if we survive this. There are a lot right, of plots set. in the game Words too, the because no. not everything was straight. Mm. Yeah. So we have See? a lot of animations like this. And the, so the, the graphics right. are stunning. Yeah. Spectacular and breathtaking, that's true. Mm -hmm. uh, but of course, uh, all the soldiers went nuts right now, Hunting. and we have to keep it in mind. And uh, I really we like... We have to deal with this. We need to uh, find a way to deal with it and do something. To get through this map. Yes. Look at this. And I like Blagic's comment uh, that, according to Matskevich, only the truth is interesting. And this well, uh, we shouldn't take any propaganda yeah. as a truth at all. So exactly. Um, but we are presenting facts. The game yes. is based on facts, and this is what we should always uh, keep in mind at all times. That explosion has drawn attention. Let's get away from here. Wait, wait, wait. You guys drew me into this stupid plan of yours. Maybe we should finish yeah, the job. Yeah, we need to still observe still our surroundings. The wagons. I'm gonna release them. We need do to what you still want. think about uh, what to do move. next. But to get to the point. No, come on, let's go. We have to yeah. get the hell out of here right now. Absolutely. <laughs> and there are three of our guys, uh, basically. Let's see what we can do. Exactly. Uh, about all the technical data about the game, uh, it's a good idea to uh, pay a visit to the Steam uh, and our social media. And uh, whatever, we, um, whatever we can is already mentioned. <laughs> So make sure to add uh, War Mongrels to your wish list. Uh, follow the announcements. Uh, and basically uh, update your status all the time. On my way. Okay. This, uh, this uh, bridge distraction was made with Unreal Engine 4. about the comments of the, uh, about the Australian soldiers. Uh, <laughs> of course, the, the whole Eastern Front being only a part of the war to is so, such a complex go, problem go, that uh, we could elaborate on thousands of aspects, I think. Is there so. enemies uh, immune to destruction or that can be killed with an uh, approach? Uh, about the, the, the distraction, where officers do not respond to any distraction, they will also easily detect uh, guys in disguise. So you need to watch out. Thank you, Black. Oh, and, and the dogs move with uh, with the master and detect uh, guys even when they are in Evo. any disguise. That he when thrive, they sense uh, our our. Uh, Mongrels, <laughs> they will alert the enemies nearby and start attacking. And thank you for adding to wish list. Yes, Just thank you very much for adding to wish list. Living in his own ways. <laughs> and we have a short cutscene about uh, 12 about missions. 12 missions. 12. 12. 60, 90 minutes each. Changed him. And uh, two modes, single player and uh, cooperative. He could no longer ignore the atrocities he had witnessed. Here Manfred tells the story how uh, Evolt changed after witnessing the uh, massacre in Ponare. Yes. So and we caught some chaos. With his next mission, we killed some enemies. Agreed. We used a lot of techniques. The Polish Home Army. Poland's national resistance movement. 
was a force to be And we learned the history. Every Wehrmacht soldier knew that. The Poles were always ready, hiding and lying in wait, biding their time for the perfect moment to strike. So we have this uh, highlight about the Polish Home Army. Uh, and the rest no shall one remain a mystery. Those right. yes. huh. It will remain a We're mystery. So follow us on social media to we were stay told the Polish uh, Home Army was one of the largest to date, resistance because we will in post uh, details soon and wait for the release. Uh, Add to the wish the list and wait for the release. And under the command exactly. of Lucas, we were tasked so with we showed you two, two missions from, a German military from our game. Uh, you can play them differently. Exactly. You can use your own ideas uh, to go through the game, basically. And uh, Zard, you can absolutely love soon because uh, the PC <laughs> date is uh, for the PCs. It's September this year. So, yes, so, so it's actually soon. Yeah, be an optimist. It's just a few weeks and you will play yes. it. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, we are very happy that you join us uh, on today's stream. We hope that we tell you a lot about the mechanics and the backgrounds of the of the game. The, the big emphasis on the environmental storytelling as shown. And the great new key art. Awesome. And thank you for all the kind words and adding Wormong Grills to wish list. Stay tuned yes. for more. If you if you like what you see, please add uh, this game to your wish list because it's very important to us. It's a, a big project that that we are very amazed by it, and we want you to share the love for it. Exactly. Uh, we have some more questions. Uh, what about uh, change the wine bottle for another thing? Well, uh, you don't. You can throw other objects at uh, to distract particular so soldiers. It can be the bottle of moonshine. Actually, it's moonshine. But you can also throw a watch. Uh, different characters can do different things to achieve success. Yes, you can use different obje objects. It's just uh, you need to to check the characters and their story and what they can do, and try to combine them. Yes, they all have something else to show you. They have uh, really different things to offer, and uh, as you can see, our merry team will be seven uh, people in total. So yeah. So follow us and and. Wait for more. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today. See you. Stay tuned for more. Goodbye. Thanks. Bye.